Hello and welcome to Love and Money Talk. My name is Aisha Yesufu. This is going to be the final video on the videos we've been doing on advice to the groom. And uh, hopefully, yes, this I'm going to make it, the, if you like, let it be long. Let me, I'm going to make this uh, final uh, video. So I uh, will be talking about series of advice to the groom. And then here, one of the things I'm going to talk about today is appreciation appreciation learn to appreciate your wife never ever 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 take your wife for granted please don't whatever it is whatever however it is my husband actually appreciates me from for the way i brought up our children which is my responsibility as a mother and also he's as a father but he thanks me for the way i brought up his nothing he doesn't see if i if i'm making a meal he's he's like oh my goodness i'm thank you thank you for making this meal if i do so now like i have a chef who does this thing like the other day i was i i did i sometimes i do to prepare some things i'll just give it to him you know he's so appreciative of it everything every aspect it's very important don't just take your your wife for granted i just feel that hey, i married her now is that not what she's supposed to be doing no that's not what she's supposed to be doing so everybody uh, needs that appreciation and then the next thing of course also is protect your wife and make her feel important and cherish don't ridicule her amongst your friends or family don't make fun of her don't, don't put her down make sure that everybody understands that she's very important in your life and that's a place that nobody goes into my husband my husband you can do anything to him, but don't go after his wife or his family he will he will come after you and there was a day i think uh it was even my husband that was telling me it he didn't tell me this just it was my sister that just said me i think my father was uh, whether they were back home my husband had gone home and then my mom my mom or something was uh, trying to tell him oh no you know your wife this activity she's doing is becoming too much only have that little baba you see the way my husband was like I don't know no, the way I, I step up to that's even with, with my own parents step up to protect his wife and everything. I said, no, 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 no. She has a right to do what she wants to do, how she wants to do that kind of a thing. And then later, my mom was not telling my sister that ah, it's, my husband is the one spoiling me. <laughs> that's what they keep saying. My husband is the one spoiling me. He supports me, whatever it is that I'm doing, and all of that, blah, blah. Because a lot, he has had a lot of pressure from people, family, friends, acquaintances, different people trying to come to my husband to make me to stop my activism or any of those things. And my husband is always like, no, as long as whatever she wants, that's what she's get, she's going to do. And that's how we've always had our relationship. My husband is always like, if it makes you happy, he says that often. So please, please, please learn to make your wife feel important and know that she's cherished and all of that and also house work is not for women alone please please not we didn't come to this world with a broom with a plate with pot with this please it's for everybody so as much as you contribute your quota to the housework do things around the house don't just put it out oh it's a woman it's a woman's job there's nothing like a gender based rules what we have are strength based rules if your strength is to sweep or to cook or do the please do it if your strength is also to contribute whatever everybody should do it so please that's uh very uh important then another Another thing also is uh, when I say a lot of people who do it when they get married, uh, they try to force their uh, wives to be friends with their friends' wives, and they or oh, no, please let it be. If they are going to click together, let them click together. If they're not going to click together, let it be. So uh, let let everybody have their own individual lives and friends and things that they do on their own. There are certain gist I want to gist now. My husband is not the right person. I'm going to gist that because he will not understand. So I'll call some. Of, I'll call my friends. That I know that yes, they will understand the gist. I want to just want gist on social media. And I'm also I know you won't understand. I'll just call a friend. I will get to what I want from me. I know I'm not gonna get that from my husband. So you have to have those kind of boundaries also if and also uh private moments that are private for you in the sense that your own thing that you're doing, so that you don't feel as if oh oh I'm I'm in so some kind of bondage or i'm being curtailed or i'm denying myself certain no you still have your own life you still have but i have my friends i do my things my husband has his friends he does his things when we come together we do our couple things we do our thing and then people always know that when it's about aliyah and aisha there's a space you cannot cross stay off their line and so that's actually the way uh it's supposed to be be and very very uh important and then also very important that do not micromanage your wife i've settled quarrels where people are talking about the number of meat that we bought are you okay 
how you how do you even know the number of meat what is that any of your business micromanaging yeah is not part of it give your wife a free hand trust her judgment if you have any concerns discuss them with her gently let her know that these are things that are right and these are things that are not right and then let her feel that love let her feel that she, she has a a free reign that she can do what she needs to do that's very important uh, and i think uh, one of the things is that understand that marriage is not easy it's never easy you're two different human beings coming together to come and form a union and live together you had different lifestyles you had different upbringing you have different things but most importantly ensure that you're aligning based on values and these are the things that are supposed to come even before uh, marriage i think I'm, i think i sort of like joined the gun by starting to talk about uh the advice to the groom instead of talking about okay what are the things to watch in a relationship but anyway we we'll do all of those videos i just felt this were import was sort of like important because you find a lot of marriages today are actually in distress and it's it's really so sad when you see people that can actually have great life together uh having a miserable life that's not the way uh that things should be and so these are some of the things that are important and uh, ensure that you all are doing what you can to have a great life and it's not a woman's job to make marriage work it's not a man's job to make marriage work it's a couple job to make marriage work you both sign up for marriage you both have to make it work and if it's not working please let everybody find their level it's better than being miserable and making the people around you miserable and making the children if you have children in that union extremely miserable and so the most important thing is for you to always ensure that you are there for each other you're talking to each other you're complimenting each other you're being there for each other you you are loving each other and you're showing that love never ever be afraid to show that love. be romantic you know think about don't just come and do one bang thanks ma'am you understand it's not sex it should be it's called love making for a reason you know do that love making make your wife feel good you know that the women like to hear things oh sweetheart oh i love you oh last night was this oh today if it's who i'm going to do it to you say hot dance buy some chocolate set the mood you know not to just come like i said to my husband i said i don't want you to treat me like wife i want you to treat me like babe because what i'm your babe that's what i am i'm not a do wife thing so let your wife feel that romance let her feel needed let her feel uh you know love don't take anything for granted and most importantly just know that marriage is always something you work on from time to time you check your marriage what is working what is not working and then you 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 do the right thing you set goals you go on you have to do it and then you know it continues to go on like that so please 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 whatever you are doing ensure that you are there for each other you're doing the right thing and you're going on about the things uh, that you're doing we meet again and then we start next time we're going to start advice to the bride so but for now the groom get it working and even if you've made mistakes before no problem we can always work on it we can always get around it thank you See you next week, inshallah. Bye.